CompTIA ITF Plus, FC0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 166 through 170. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 166. Primary and foreign keys allow for which of the following in a SQL database? The answer is D. Relationships. In SQL databases, primary keys uniquely identify records within a table, while foreign keys link records across tables. The main function of these keys is to establish relationships and ensure data integrity. By utilizing them, databases can efficiently retrieve data and maintain consistency across tables, upholding the core principles of a relational database system. Question 167. A company desires its employees to utilize an email client that retrieves and deletes messages from the email server. Which protocol should be set up in the email client to enable this? The answer is A. POP3. POP3, or Post Office Protocol version 3, is the protocol used to download emails from a server to a local email client. Unlike IMAP, which syncs and maintains messages on the server, POP3 downloads the messages and then removes them from the server. Therefore, if a company wants its employees' email clients to retrieve and delete messages from the server, POP3 is the most appropriate protocol to use. Question 168. Which of the following programming constructs is best suited to hold a collection of strings? The answer is A. Array. An array is a fundamental data structure that allows for the storage of multiple items, or elements, of the same data type in a contiguous block of memory. In the context of storing a collection of strings, an array provides a straightforward way to keep these strings organized in a sequential manner. Question 169. Which of the following tasks is typically performed as part of the identify the problem step of the troubleshooting process? The answer is A. Question users. Questioning the users during the identify the problem step of the troubleshooting process helps to gather first-hand information about the issue. Users can provide details, such as when the problem started, any changes they made, and specific error messages. Their insights offer a starting point for technicians to diagnose and address the issue more effectively. Question 170. Which option most accurately represents the persistent physical storage location of data within a database? The answer is D. HDD. Databases store their data on hard drives to ensure long-term retention and access. While data is often loaded into memory for faster processing and immediate tasks, it's only temporary. The persistent storage, where data remains safe and accessible even when not in use, is on the hard drive. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.